What is up guys, welcome back to another video where I am joined once again with Cantoris and we oh. are going to be taking a look at some amazing looking cards that were was just announced for a set coming out in Japan at the end of the year called VMAX Climax. Get your mind out of the gutter, <laughs> what are you doing? I wonder if uh, VMAX Climax means that we're going to be done with VMAX next year. I wonder if it's going to be the start of a new kind of era of TCG. That's what it spells for me, man. I wonder if we'll get uh, Arceus Legends will be our... Or if they'll do a Diamond and Pearl. Well, I guess it's all Sinnoh, so maybe it'll be like a Sinnoh-based year. I don't know. We will be talking about our best sets of 2021, our worst sets of 2021, and our favorite cards of 2021 later on this year. So if, you're, if that appeals to you at all, if you want to hear our thoughts on that stuff, you should definitely like and subscribe on the video right now. So we're going to take a look at Character Rares. They're back, baby. They're my favorite cool. cards of Cosmic Eclipse, but they're probably my favorite cards of Sun and Moon. So the first one we have is a Zekrom Character Rare. And as you can see, N is riding on his back. Yeah. Zekrom is probably my, I, I mean, we talked about this sort of with the celebration set. Zekrom, I prefer over Reshiram. So Same. it's nice to see Zekrom uh, get a card that's this beautiful. Um, yeah. Love the background. It's so colorful. Uh, it's just majestic. It's so cool looking. Um, yeah. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, the, the clouds like coming off of like the wings and, and you know, the like them going kind of like into the atmosphere a little yeah. bit right so you get a little bit of like that wind flowing through them and like it, it's such a cool card um akira yeah. igawa man that you know yeah nailed it gorgeous you know, like that gorgeous artwork yeah like yeah it's very dynamic yeah just the, just the way that it's it's put together just yeah i, I love colorful cards like super colorful interesting um yeah. that's why i've really liked all the alternate art so far and these these scream kind of that alternate art idea as well gardevoir Ooh. so we have a gardevoir gardevoir <laughs> is actually a very popular pokemon way more popular than i thought uh that yeah. gardevoir was but uh this one's really cool as well I, I love the uh, I love all the color like the way that they kind of accentuate the trainer and the Pokemon kind of in the forefront and then they have the background elements but the backgrounds kind of covered in that blue and pink kind of sheen that give more kind of detail to the actual Pokemon and trainer themselves um, yeah. kind of separate them in a way from being kind of out of focus and in focus sort of idea mm -hmm. adds mm -hmm. a lot of depth to the card and it's just so cool i love yeah. the anime art style going on here too well and i love the the like story that some of these cards try to tell too yeah you know like you got you know what's his face back there working on the computer and you know his his partner pokemon helping him out you know with whatever research he's doing and it kind know. of puts the pokemon like in a real world scenario which yeah. is not really how we see pokemon a lot of times it's something that the anime did pretty well it's putting yeah. them in like working real scenarios but a lot of times the cards are just like they're just out in the woods or they're fighting yeah, another pokemon this is yeah yeah you know like actual partner pokemon idea flaffy flaffy's been getting a lot of love recently very interesting a flaffy one yeah i wonder why like flaffy flaffy also got the pre-release promo in evolving skies and didn't flaffy get a gold card in evolving skies too i, I think, think so yeah like it's kind of weird because it's a it's a mid evolution because you have Ampros, which is like the yeah. third evolution or the rare. Yeah. Um, yeah. I wonder why Flaffy's getting so much love. I don't know. Is it like Flaffy just like super popular in Japan or something? Flaffy's <laughs> cool. Flaffy you know? is cool. Like, yeah. That, I love that Ampros. Whole evolution line, you know, Marie, Flaffy, Ampros, they're all great. You know? Ampros like, is in my top five favorite Pokemon. Easy. Um, there you go. Yeah. Like it, it's a strong set of Pokemon and, you know, um, I don't think they could go wrong with doing a special art card of any one of them, really. You know what I just noticed? Because I'm mm -hmm. not paying attention, apparently. this That's a mirror. Yeah. They're looking yep. in the mirror. Because you can see mm -hmm. the in the forefront, kind of the back of the trainer and the back of Flaffy a little bit. They're actually yep. looking in the mirror, like doing Flaffy's hair, basically, with the brush. Yeah. That Super is so cool. cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got the same sort of vibe where they put like a sheen of blue and a sheen of yellow over the background elements and kind of blur them a little bit to bring you know the the pokemon into the forefront i 
Yeah. That idea, the way that they're incorporating that to bring the Pokemon out is just, I just love these cards. They're so awesome. Yeah. I'm really excited and, and for this. That that whole idea, like I said before, of the like partner Pokemon, right? You know, like, and like you said, seeing them in the real world doing things other than, you know, foraging for food or battling battling swimming in a lake you know like it's cool to see them you know and and especially like the trainers too right you know or gym leaders that like you know a lot of us not just us are very nostalgic with you know playing the games and yeah i mean i think the assumption is like because that's kind of what the games are predicated with is you battle like pokemon battle and you gain experience and all that stuff and that's kind of the core the crux of everything but this is like they're just friends like, it's their yeah. Pokemon, and they're brushing them in front of the mirror, or they're uh, working with them in a doctor's office, or, you know, it's it's yeah. it's a cool environment to see them in that you typically don't see them in. Next one. Yes! Eevee okay. and Bill. Eevee and That's Bill. awesome. Yeah, this is fantastic. I, this is so freaking cute. It's insane. God, how... Man, how is this card not in... Uh eevee heroes like i don't know it's it's amazing it's yeah that is a cool card there's so much detail in it like you can see the little nidoran on the front of the the suitcase that eevee's playing in and yeah like yeah, you, yeah. you just look around and find so much you can see a neat arena on the left side of eevee or a neat arena sorry yeah. that was not neat arena. So, well and that, that's that whole story that you know I, I mentioned earlier right where like it looks like bill was working on some sort of research for the nidoran you know lines and everything and then as evie just gets into you know all the yeah. paperwork and you know messes it all up and at yeah. first at first i thought it was a suitcase and i was like that's exactly what my cat does when i'm going on vacation she'll like yeah. sit on the suitcase <laughs> and be like you're not leaving dude where, where do you think you're going yeah uh yeah it's it's so like evie is just Eevee is up there as one of my favorite evolutions. <laughs> yeah, just regular Eevee. Yeah, just absolutely. regular Eevee. It's just yeah. so adorable. I, I like this too because it reminds me of there's a there's a Pokemon card from Sun and Moon. It was a promo where Mewtwo. I, I talked about this in one of my recent videos, but Mewtwo is sitting in the forefront and he's got this look on his face like, oh my god, not again. And in the yeah. background, Mew is like doing a little woo, like being yeah. all yeah, yeah. being all crazy. This has this same idea where Bill is like, oh Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to reorganize this shit. Yeah. Yeah, That's this great. is really cool. Really, cool really card. cool. Alright, and last but not least, I think this is the last one. This is a V Max. Pikachu V Max with Yo. red. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing dude here comes the boy <laughs> this is so cool like yeah. obviously the chunkachu was the chase of vivid voltage one of my favorite sets from sword and shield um yeah. and to have red there too just looking badass in front and the giant vmax pikachu in the back like that is that's that just, gonna be the chase of the set. That hands is down. so cool, and it's just a V Max. Like I don't know, yeah, that could be an alternate art. I guess. Well, it says CSR, so it is a character rare. Yeah. Um, that's interesting though. That that will be the hard chase oh, for people, like that hands is, down. It's that just is gonna so be awesome. you know when graded a PSA ten. That's the <laughs> one that's gonna be over a thousand dollars. I uh, guarantee you. It might like, be. Yeah. It's so awesome. The art is super cool. Like, um, I don't know what it'll do in the game, but I bet I imagine it'll be really cool. Like, yeah. How have you felt over the course of this sword and shield, um, of kind of the V's and V maxes all having the, uh, the same look to them? Um, like the V maxes all kind of have, um, the, the corner pieces there. And then in the backgrounds, there's usually a lot of swirly, like colorful stuff going on. And then the Pokemon is, uh, just kind of the Pokemon in the forefront might be doing a pose or whatever. Uh, but there's not a lot of like background elements in VMAXs usually. And the Vs, they can have some more background elements, but I feel like they're, it's kind of a similar situation. How do, you, yeah. how do you feel about how every set has kind of been very similar in terms of those two rarities? Like, would you have liked to see more variation, or were you okay um, with that kind of trend happening throughout the course of the Sword and Shield set? I, I don't. I don't mind it so much. I get the whole point of like V Max being, you know, like Dynamaxing from Sword and Shield. So like that Pokemon would be in a stadium that would allow for something like that to happen. Yeah. So like you like just looking at this card, right? You know, you see the stadium. 
you know, like very yeah. much present. I don't know how well you see it in other VMAX cards, but I know that's like the whole point, right? God, that um, is, that is as a far thick as boy. like, I like, yes, <laughs> thick Pikachu. It's a thick boy. Be ready. Um, I like that they've been switching from um, CG art to traditional 2D art. Yeah. Um, because sometimes the CG art doesn't really work. Whereas, like, take here, you know, with the 2D, I think it's always going to work. Right? Yeah, there's um, um, there's a lot of people who really don't like the uh, that five band, which is like a group of artists that do the CG artwork on a lot of the V's and V Maxes. Sure. Okay. Um, a lot of people that don't like that style and the fact that they they do most of the what seems like a lot of the V Maxes and V's at least. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I always love the 2D stuff. Awesome, guys. Well, that, you know, let us know in the comments below what you think of bringing back the character rares. I think these are so, I mean, these things are just gorgeous. Like, that honestly might be my favorite one, the EV one. Uh, really? Yeah. It is cool. adorable. I, obviously, it, I love this one, too. This one is, you know, this one's well up there as well. Yeah. Um, they're just all so good. And so, yeah. Igawa, Sakuma, Misaki uh gunjima and gunjima so yeah. awesome I, I think all of these like work really well i love all the pokemon from from this this set yeah you know, yeah they the chose really good great. pokemon to to feature too yeah a lot of really memorable ones too well guys let us know what you think again uh comments below and definitely like and subscribe and definitely hit up chris over on instagram for uh for all your warhammer needs man he's doing all the awesome warhammer custom paint jobs and stuff on it on the on the figures is that what they're called yeah yeah Min okay. figures miniatures, miniatures. You know, model yeah. kits yeah if any of you out there are down to you know see somebody paint some some miniatures for uh warhammer or D D or whatever you know come come check me out cool thank you guys see you later see ya